The IRS reports it's punishing two staffers who went to a conference that cost taxpayers more than four million bucks. Officials say it has to do with a party in a private suite where somebody apparently broke the rules about giving out free food. The source says the two staffers are now on leave and may end up losing their jobs. The inspector general says the Anaheim getaway was one of more than 200 conferences that cost us taxpayers $50 million and gave us the entertaining video of IRS workers learning to dance. But one senator says the administration put a much lower price tag on the events last year. Mike Emanuel is live for us on Capitol Hill. Mike? Well, Chef, Oklahoma Senator Tom Coburn is demanding answers. Coburn sent a letter last year to then Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner about conference spending. A Treasury official responded that the department had spent less than $500,000. Now Coburn wants an explanation from current Treasury Secretary Jack Lew. With the revelation of the uh, uh, Inspector General that they spent $49 million at the IRS alone, during that same period of time uh, leads to one of two conclusions. One, they're incompetent, can't manage what they're doing, and they don't know what's going on, which is possible and probable, or they're deceitful. Tomorrow, one of the stars of the Star Trek spoof video created by IRS employees will testify on Capitol Hill. Farris Fink played Mr. Spock. Lawmakers want to talk to him and other witnesses about the culture of spending at the IRS, an agency growing in power. When you consider their role in implementing the Affordable Care Act, they ought to be terrified. So what Congress ought to be doing is figuring out uh, a, a way to replace the IRS with something that is respected and has the confidence of the American people and let the prosecutors figure out who goes to jail. Gowdy, a former federal prosecutor, says Congress should continue its investigation and a special prosecutor should be named to look into the most serious allegations. Shep?